Big stocks in focus today. MGL is in focus today as the company has hiked CNG prices by 1.5 rupees per kg for CNG and 1 rupee per SEM for PNG. In our Insight Edge segment on Halftime Report, Sonal is here with more details on this story. Sonal. Thank you so much for that. Well, a number of things that have happened uh, for the CNG industry. First up, of course, Mahanagar Gas has gone ahead and increased prices both for the CNG and the PNG segment, to which the management said it is for a number of reasons. First, the domestic gas allocation, the APM allocation, which happens to priority sector like CGD, it has reduced substantially in last one year. It has come down to 68% versus 82% earlier. Remember, during COVID, it was as high as 120% as well. So that sharp cut means uh, that they will not be getting cheaper gas because of which they have to go ahead and buy imported gas and that is coming at costlier prices uh, right now the spot LNG prices are around $12 per MMBTU and that's why their mix is getting very expensive in terms of raw material prices and that's the reason they've gone ahead and increased prices the second event is a Bajaj Auto launching CNG bike which was supposed to be a big market for all these uh, city gas distribution companies However, Maharagar Gas says that conversion of volumes from bikes will take a lot of time because the capacity of a CNG bike is around 2 kgs in terms of the CNG that they require. So it will not convert to volumes immediately in this fiscal itself, but they could see some impact coming in from next year. Uh, however, it will still be very cheap versus a petrol bike and they could see conversion going forward. Uh, in terms of budget expectations, because there have been reports suggesting that the government could go ahead and cut excise duty on CNG and also gas coming under GST, of course, that is not something that would be discussed in the budget. But they did indicate that they are hearing something around it. There's no surety here, but if it does happen, it will be positive. They will be pa able to pass, the, pass on the price cuts to customers as well. And if gas also comes under GST, there would be a pass through. Input costs will be allowed and credit will be allowed, reducing costs, improving EBITDA for them. So that would be a win-win as well. All right, take that point. Uh, so thanks a lot for that. So the insight that uh, Sonal gave us an edge over. Let's hear that insight itself. Ashu Singhal, who is the Managing Director at MGL, spoke to us this morning. Let's listen into the excerpts of that conversation. We were getting APM gas, which was which is at six and a half dollar. From 82 percent, it has come down to 68 percent. So there is substantial reduction in the APM gas, which is the domestically available cheap gas. And the LNG prices were earlier uh, down, but now it has started increasing again. So we are constrained to increase one and a half rupees in the CNG prices. However, still we are the cheapest in the country in terms of CNG prices and PNG prices. So the bike per bike consumption, the cylinder capacity is only two kg. So to see any significant increase in our volumes, the number of volumes, one number of bikes should be very huge. So it will take some time. Maybe next year we will get some volume, maybe two, three percent, and afterwards it can increase furthermore. But definitely it will take some time to one that people are getting used to the new bike, although it is definitely much more advantageous in terms of running cost. So double the numbers will give us maybe 10 percent volume, but then the numbers of bikes should be around seven, eight lakhs, which will take a substantial period to come to that number in Mumbai or in our geographical areas. The budget is passed and what is included in the budget or not. The other point which we are hearing is maybe the gas can be included in GST. Because if that so happens, then excise duty cut will not be required. It will be one tax regime for the gas segment itself. Okay, so that's MGL. That stock is in focus today, up around two odd percent. But uh, the other stock.